Hey, my name is Jen Lieben, and I'm going to show you how you can use PNG files um, in your video projects to get kind of a green screen effect or to incorporate along with green screen um, to some really cool effects happen. So um, up here, I have my WeVideo dashboard. And what we're seeing right now in this preview screen is an emoji of a smiley face with the sunglasses. So something you can easily Google and find online. Now, the key here is you want to find a specific file type. A .png file type is a type of file that allows for transparency. So when we're looking at this file here on the screen, it looks like it has a black background but it doesn't, it has a transparent background. So if I went into the stock media and I grabbed, um, I don't know, entrance to the Opal Zoo and I put that behind here, we would see that now you can see that clip behind it, that it wasn't actually black in the background, it was clear, but on the video it shows up as black until you put something underneath it. So that's just important to know and that's the magic of the PNG file is that you can find them ready, ready made online. So in this example video here that I made, I'm going to show you how I used those ready-made emoji files um, in this short clip. Okay, so what's going on here is that you can see in my timeline, I have a separate little short clip for each emoji that I found. So I found pictures of emojis online. I downloaded them, the PNG file. So you search specifically for that type. And then I uploaded them into my media and I brought them down into my timeline um, on top of this video clip of me, which is, if you look down here, it's actually in front of a green screen. I just have a green screen effect on it right now. If I went in here and I went to my green screen and I turned that off, you would see here's me just in front of a green screen biting these emojis. So what I did was I actually took the green out and I have this sort of uh, matrix-y looking background here. So that's really kind of arbitrary. You can use or not use that. Um, what we're looking at right now are these emojis. So once you upload these files, let's get rid of that, just make this a little bit less confusing. We see our emoji file here, uploaded it. It fit the screen, so it's kind of big. I went into the edit pencil. I don't know if you saw that there. When you click on a clip, you get these options in Wii Video to click on that little editing pencil, and there's all different options of things that you can do with your file. So I'm gonna stick in this first tab here called Transform, and I'm going to adjust the size first by dragging that little um, square in the corner or using my scale slider to get uh, the size that I want. So we could just pick whatever we want here. You can also do little things like rotate and flip and things like that if you so desire. Um, you can get the exact point that you want by using XY coordinates. Um, what I'm going to do though was I use this animation tab in order to make my PNG files move from left to right, up to down, across, whatever. So what you do is you indicate a starting point. So I have my, I can also just click on my, click and hold, move my actual emoji around. So I can have them start here, because that's where my start is. Then when I click end, I can set my ending point and where I want that to be. And then to preview, we would go to the beginning and play it. And you can see that it takes whatever the length of the clip is, and it will move that um, picture from your start point to your end point in whatever amount of time. So a short clip, it's gonna move faster. A longer clip, it's gonna move slower. If you want it to move faster, you might need to just split them into separate clips and kind of move those around. Um, so we hit save changes, and then that is how our emoji moves across. So I took advantage of this little animation um, detail and overlaid a bunch of these emojis together. So you could see we have this emoji here. The little winking emoji has a start and an end point. So he starts right here and then ends off to the side. So we're gonna check that out. One. So each separate clip here has a separate animation that I set. And then I recorded myself in front of a green, you know, P 
piece of fabric just fighting these imaginary things. So I made the emojis fit my actions after the fact, and that's why it looks like I'm, you know, scared of or fighting or running away from these emojis. So you could do this with any number of things, but really this didn't need any green screen at all. It's just a picture of me on a background acting something out with some of these transparent background PNG files laid on top scaled them and animated them. So think of all the things you can do with that. Have fun.